Can you also maybe define rationalism? Uh, yeah, these are two terms that are in philosophy, especially in epistemology. They're often uh, compared to one another. Your own said that it's an uh, that that it's a, a false dichotomy, and 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 maybe it is a bit exaggerated, but that doesn't mean it's not useful for for conceptualizing the the domain. So, a rationalist is somebody like Descartes who says, um, "I'm going to set aside. I'm going to try to set aside." everything I know, everything I've inherited, I'm going to start from scratch. And he explicitly says, you know, in evaluating the the inheritance of the past, he, he explicitly says, you take a look at the histories that we have, they're not reliable. You take a look at the moral and the scientific writings that we receive, they're not very good. His baseline is to look very critically at the past and say, uh, look, I, I'm evaluating it. I, I think all in all, it's just not worth very much. And so whatever I do, Going it, beginning from scratch is going to be better as long as, and he here's his caveat: is as, as long as I'm proceeding from uh, from self-evident uh, assumptions, from self-evident premises, things that you can't argue against. I think, therefore, I am right, and then from there, deducing what what he calls infallible conclusions. So that model of self-evident premises to infallible conclusions. I'm I'm calling that rationalism. I think that's kind of a kind, kind of a standard, you know, academic uh, uh, jargon term, and it's opposed to uh, empiricism, which is uh, a thinker. I, I, I think in universities usually the you know the empiricist is uh, is David Hume, and uh, David Hume uh, will say we can't learn anything the way that Descartes said. I mean, there is nothing that's that self evident and that infallible. So so. Hume proposes, uh, b based on uh, Newton and and Boyle and you know the 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 uh, the, the new physical sciences. So Hume, Hume proposes uh, a science of man, and the science of man sounds an awful lot like what Euron just said, which is we're going to take a look at human nature, at the nature of societies. Uh, human nature, we're going to try to abstract towards uh, fixed principles for describing it. Human societies, we're going to try to do the same thing, and from there we get. You know, for for ex for example, contemporary economics, uh, but we also get you know sociology and anthropology, which which cut in in a different different direction. So um, that's rationalism versus empiricism.